Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Azorukwam Nelson. Whether you're a beginner or an expert in C-sharp, understanding how to check internet connectivity is very, very important. Especially if you're working on a software that uses a remote API, it's important that you let users know when they are connected to the internet and when they are not. So today I am going to be showing you various ways for checking internet connection in C-sharp. So to start, I will um, bring up my Visual Studio here. I've already written a source code to do that. You can see that here. And uh, these are the methods here. We have about six of them here. We have the network, um, that's the method one, network interface, the WinNet, the DNS lookup, pinging, socket check, and um, HTTP request. Um, I'm going to explain all of them to you. I will also show you the code um, of how to use them. And uh, I will tell you the one you should use and um, the one I personally use. So we'll start with method one, the internet, um, not internet, sorry, the network interface. That's our method one here, the network interface. So this method involves using a class and a method that is already available in C Sharp. That's all. So there is a class already in C Sharp called the network interface. Network interface class can be found in system.net. Um, network information. Um, with that class, there is um, also a method called get is network available. So you can use that. Um, you can use that method to check if there is um, there is network connection. So this the second method here is the win init. The win init. So win init is more like a Windows API. Um, it provides a function also for checking uh, network connection. It provides function called Internet get connected states. I'm going to show you the code later. Um, I'm just explaining the WinNet pro also provides a function called Internet Get Connected State. So, um, for you to use this method, you will um, you will need to uh, to um, to import a DLL. I will show you the code later how to import the DLL. So, you will need to import a, a, a DLL. But the DLL is um, already part of the Windows operating system so you don't need to have the the file on your on your solution all you just need is to import the the DLL all right. then method three method three is the DNS lookup method three is simple um looking up a domain to get the IP address so that is what DNS lookup is all about. So you you try to get an IP address from a domain. So it's assumed if the system can get an IP address um, from a domain, it means there is internet, right? So that is the DNS lookup. The fourth one, fourth method is pinging. So you try to 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 ping a domain that's the the fourth one you try to ping the domain and if there is um positive response from the from the server it means there is a internet connection then the fifth uh, the fifth method socket check so socket check is um simply trying to open a known connection so we can actually check for internet connectivity by attempting to open a socket connection of a um, of a known service or they say we can try to open a known um, a known socket connection so that's what socket check does 
I will also showcase later, I will also show the code on how to to do this using a socket check. Then the um, the last but not the least HTTP request. So this involves making a HTTP request to a website or to a domain. You make HTTP and um, from the response you can determine if there is network um, connection or there is internet connection on the computer system. So that's all the six methods of checking uh, of checking internet in C sharp. So I'm going to go over their code one after the other. I'll start with the first one, network interface. So here I have a function called check with network interface. When I go to that function, you're going to see here, I have a class, like I told you earlier, I have a class, a class called network interface. You can see network interface is coming from system.net.network information. And network interface has a function called get is network available. Then the the second way is um, the WinNet. I will also go behind. You will see that I have a function also here. Check with WinNet. So WinNet check with WinNet calls another function, and this function is coming from a DLL import. You can see I told you earlier this requires a DLL import. Um, you can see. You can see I don't have this DLL anywhere on my solution, so this already exists on your Windows computer. So you must be running Windows for you to use this. Um, for you to use this method, you must be on a Windows computer. This does not work work on a on a multi-platform um, solutions. So you must be on a Windows computer for this to work. Then the DNS lookup. So let me go to check with DNS lookup here. Here you can see what we are doing is simple. We are attempting to resolve a domain. You can see that we are attempting to to resolve a domain. If you know what this function does, you see it resolves. It says it resolves a host name. Or IP address so that's what we are attempting to do so if this succeeds it means there is internet that's why we are re returning through you can see how that works here then the fourth method here is pinging I would also show you that I will go to check with ping here you can see what we are doing is simple what we are doing is simple. We are trying to ping Google. You can see we are trying to ping Google. So for for every places that I'm using Google, if you must use the same Google, you must make sure that Google is not blocked by any form of firewall. Maybe from your from your country, you must make sure. Um, Google is allowed from wherever you, you are before you can uh, use this. Not just wherever you are, where, wherever you are deploying your application to, you must make sure that Google is, um, at, is, at, is not blocked there. Then the fifth method here is the socket check. The socket check. So when I go to check with socket check, so here is the code. This is how we are checking. You can see we are trying to make connection. You can see. So here we assume connection succeeded. So we are returning true here to say there is internet. You can see that. So if we get an exception, we are returning false. Okay. Then finally, the HTTP 
Et le fouest. When I go to check with HTTP request, you will see I am trying to make an HTTP request here. You can see. So if our code gets to this point, it means our request succeeded. So yes, there is internet. So we return true. Mm, if we get an exception, we are returning. We are returning a false. So that's all. That is it, guys. I'm going to run the application now. So when I run the application, I'm going to demonstrate it. So you are going to see how it works. Then I'm going to tell you which one to use and um, the one I personally use. So I'll click start to start up the, the application. Do, 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 do. All right, my application is um, started. Um, at the moment, I am connected to a wireless network called Internet Access. You can see that I I also have another network called not in, not no internet access which i'm going to connect to later for now i am connected to internet access right so i'm going to try this one this uh, our first method out sorry let me remove this breakpoint in a bit let me remove these guys i don't want i don't want the uh, i don't want it to hit any of these breakpoints again so all right, so clicking the first method, you can see it says there is internet available. I'll try the second one. Internet is available. This is good. Try this third one. Internet available. Try the fourth one. Internet available. Try the fifth one. Internet available. Then we'll try HTTP request now. The same thing, internet available. All right, so everything is working fine. Um, I mean, we have internet available, so of course, um, everything is working fine. Now I'm going to switch my connection to a different network with no internet access. All right, so I have another network here. Let me connect to it. You can see I am connected now to no internet access. So the, um, I don't have any internet access on this network here. So I'm going to try my first method again. So you can see I'm getting internet available. I'm going to try my second method internet available i'm going to try the third method all right so the third method says no internet internet not available my fourth method says internet not available fifth one internet not available and um, the sixth one Mm, this one is going to take a while so as we are waiting for it to complete if you've not subscribed to my channel please um you can do so now and um, if you like the the video please click the thumbs up all right so it's completed now you can see internet not available so which one should you use and which one should you not use well i would say depending on what you want to achieve um if you want to specifically check for internet connection not just network connection you want to check for internet connection i would say you use you can use four you can use five you can use six i personally i use six you can use from four to six 
um, I won't advise you to use one and um, two. Um, the reason is um, the two of them works similarly. So what what they do is they are checking if you are connected to any network. Okay, they are checking if you're connected to any network. So that's why at the moment we are not connected to a network with internet access, but you know when you click on it it tells you internet available when you click on them it tells you internet available but let me let me disconnect for a moment i will also disconnect from this so so make sure i'm not connected to any internet at all you can see not connected to any internet at, at all so i will try number one again so now you can see internet not available I will try number two. You can see internet not available. You understand? So you can see that um, I I need to disconnect from the network entirely before it tells me that um, internet is not available. So it's actually checking if you are connected to any network interface. That's what it is doing. The one and two is they are both not checking for. Uh, internet availability all right you will you will be saying um what about number three i will not advise you to also use uh, number three and the reason is because like i told you um number three is simply dns lookup so the system looks up a domain name to see if you can get or if you can resolve to a, an ip address right so um why um, this is bad for checking for internet connection is because the DNS has a cache where it caches um, the it, it caches um, the 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 domains it has previously mapped. Okay, so um, when you tell it to resolve, it checks the cache and if. Um, if the domain exists on the cache, it simply resolves to whatever IP address that it is that is there. Okay, so it does not mean it's it's using internet. So it's checking locally. It's not actually making any connection. So it's not using any internet. So this could be very deceiving. It could tell you there is um, internet access. Meanwhile, there is no internet access at all so that is it guys the video may be a bit confusing but if you have any question if there is something you don't understand i'm available at the comment section you can leave your comments in the comment section and i will definitely reply you if you want to use the code feel free to pause the video you know while i um while i was checking out the code you can pause the video and pick whatever code you want to pick and use free of charge so um the source code for today is free of charge so that is it for today and as always if you like the video hit the thumbs up and um subscribe to my youtube channel good bye see you later on another video